Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. It's kind of like a tower, and we've done similar problems before. We did the infinite case and the finite case. So this one is x to the power, x to the power, x to the power 5 equals 5, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to use substitution. Let me rewrite the expression x to the power, x to the power, x to the power 5 equals 5. For the second method, I'm going to call this expression y. That means x to the fifth power equals y, or x can be written as y to the power 1 over 5. Make sense? Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace x to the fifth with y, and x with y to the power 1 fifth. And then let's see what happens. Uh, after that, I'm going to manipulate a little bit. So, replace x with y to the power 1 over 5. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room. Let's move a little bit down. So, kind of like this. So, let's replace x with y to the power 1 fifth. And then raise it to the power y to the power 1 fifth, which was raised to the power y. This is x to the fifth power. That's why I replaced it with y. Make sense? This equals 5. Now, I have y to the power 1 fifth twice, but I have an extra y there, which doesn't look very good. So let's go ahead and do the following. Since uh, this is a power of a power, let's go ahead and multiply these two exponents. And that's going to give us the following. y to the power 1 over 5 to the power y to the power y over 5. Because 1 over 5 times y is y over 5, which becomes the new exponent. Make sense? And that equals 5. Uh, this is a little better because I have a single base and a single exponent. Well, sort of. They're still, they still have their bases and exponents, but it's better than the original. So I got this equation. What can I do with it? I can raise both sides to the fifth power. Why? Because first of all, that's going to eliminate the one fifth here. That's going to bring an extra 5 on the right hand side, which is okay but it's going to actually help us. Let's see how that plays out. So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the fifth power. Let me go ahead and show it like this and like that. And now that five is going to go ahead and multiply this because you can multiply y to the power of y over five, but also multiply by the exponent that's all the way inside. So this can be written as y to the power of y over five, which is something fun about exponents, right? And then you're going to get the following. 5 to the power 5. Now the good thing about this is that, actually that's a mistake, it's not right, because this is supposed to be y to the power 5 over 5, which is just y, right? So I should be writing it as y, y to the power 1. So this is what I get from here, right? Okay, so how can I make this even better, right? So here's what we can do. Uh, let me rewrite it as y to the power, y to the power y over 5, I don't know, I just keep messing up, y to the power, y to the power, y over 5, equals 5 to the fifth. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and manipulate this right-hand side a little, little bit. Notice that the bases are y, y, and then I have a y over 5 here. So if I put a 1 here as an exponent, take a look at this. My y is going to coincide with the 5, this y is going to coincide with this 5, and the y over 5 is going to coincide with the 1. So y equals 5 is actually going to work here. The question is, is that the only solution? I'll tell you in a little bit. y equals 5 is just going to work. But y is what? x to the 5th power. So set it equal to 5. From here, you're going to get x equals the 5th root of 5, which is our answer. Now, let me tell you why we only have a single solution here, because if you think about the function x to the power x, it is actually 1 to 1, except, of course, for um, values that are between 0 and 1, right? So we have some uh, two-way intersections here, but otherwise, it is going to be uh, constantly increasing. So depends on the interval you're looking for, but we're kind of looking at uh, large values here. So our function is actually going to work with a single value. So that is the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So 
Let me rewrite the problem. x to the power x to the power x to the fifth equals 5. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something that's kind of unusual, but for these kinds of expressions, actually, that's very helpful. So notice the 5 here. And we know that the whole expression is equal to 5. So I can basically say that, hey, 5 is equal to x to the power x to the power x to the fifth, right? So since 5 is equal to that, this 5 can be replaced with this, right? So we're going to do something weird, but at the end, it's going to be good. So let's go ahead and replace that 5 with this here. Instead of the 5, let's write x to the power x to the power x to the power 5. You see that tower? The tower is getting bigger, taller, and, but we get the same answer. And guess what? You can keep doing it. Replace the 5 with x to the power, x to the power, x to the power 5. And let me tell you something. We can do even better than this. We can replace the 5 here with the whole thing. And that's just going to be what? It's just going to be an x to the power x to the power x to the power x. And it's just going to go on forever. And at the end, this is going to equal 5. And that's good. You know why? Because if x to the power x to the power x to the power dot 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 all the way up to infinity is equal to 5, this is the same thing, right? I know I'm kind of talking like loosely about these things, and it's not rigorous at all. If you're looking for rigor, uh, you're in the wrong place. But anyways, this is the same thing, so it's equal to 5. And this gives you what? x to the fifth power equals 5, and from here you get x equals the fifth root of 5. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.